I will uh, discuss the following question. So I let m and n be integers. And I suppose that that this here is non-zero. And I'm interested in the question, how small can this difference be in terms of m and n? So question. So a first answer to this question was given by Alan Baker in the 1968, and he proved the following. So theorem is so he proved that one divided two to the ten to the logarithm. that this is uh, smaller or equal than this difference here. And two years later, um, Marshall Hall, he used some computer experiments and he proposed the following conjecture. So conjecture one. He proposed that it's of Hall. So essentially, he conjectured that one can replace this here by one can take away the logarithm here. So there are absolute constants. U, V, and they are both positive. Such that and so that is his conjecture. And so what one usually does in diaphantine geometry, one uses some algebraic geometry to try to solve uh, some questions of this kind here. So now I will translate these questions in terms of geometry or in terms of elliptic curves. And I consider the following curve. And so this is a Weierstrass equation, and I can compute the discriminant of this equation. And I get the following. So and by our assumption here, we know that this discriminant here is non-zero. So we see that this is an elliptic curve over Q. So Now I have to introduce some other notation, so I have to define a height. So here, this is the relative faulting site. I will not define it, but it's just like a, a measure for the arithmetic complexity of this curve. So.
So one can just use this as a, a measure. And I also um, use the minimal discriminant of this curve. So delta E is the minimal discriminant. Of E over Q. So yeah, this is just like the, the norm of the minimal discriminant ideal. And this is related to, to this here. So if one don't know what is the minimal discriminant of an elliptic curve, um, it's just like uh, in the case where we consider this curve EMN, then this here, the discriminant of this here, the minimal discriminant is related to this delta. Okay. So now one um, can give a conjecture in terms of these things here. Conjecture two is like there are absolute constants. UV such that any elliptic curve over Q satisfies this H of E is at most U the logarithm of delta E plus V. And so now what one can do, one can now use some geometrical results or some results for elliptic curves to see if this uh, conjecture here holds for these elliptic curves. And now I will give like two examples. So the first example is the following. Example one. So there is a theorem of Mordell and he uh, proved that the Q rational points of an elliptic curve are a finitely generated abelian group. So we have the following theorem, model. It says like that the Q rational points is isomorphic to a finite group and a free group where for some R greater or equal than zero. And now what one can do, one can, for example, consider curves which have a non-trivial group here. So one can show that conjecture uh, one holds. For m, for integers, here, which satisfy this condition, non-zero, and such that with the condition the distortion group of the associated elliptic curve of these two integers uh, is non-trivial. And I prepared also uh, another example. So example two. And in this example, one considers like some, these modular curves x zero n. So I will not define exactly what these curves are. So n say greater or equal than 13 and one can view this, they parameterize certain elliptic curves with an extra structure. So extra structure. 
And so now there is a famous theorem for this curve. So this is the Shimura Taniyama conjecture. So So this was proved by Taylor and Wiles for most elliptic curves over Q. And then the proof was completed later by Broy, Conrad, Diamond, and again, Tyler. And it says the following, that um, there is an N. And a covering. x0 n to e. And on using this um, conjecture, one can also, one cannot verify conjecture one, but one can give like a result related to this here. So one can prove the following. So one can prove that the uh, one divided by six of the logarithm of m to the sixth one divided by six is at most one half of the logarithm of m. But now we have to add some extra thing. I mean, this would prove the, the conjecture would. Unfortunately, we have to add here some extra term. So it's one half the radical. And here, the radical is just the, the product over the rational primes, which divide this difference here. And so we can estimate this easily by by this year, so we, we see that we improved the bound of Baker. And yeah, this theorem of Baker is based on the theorem, theory of logarithmic forms, which is a theory in transcendental number theory. And here we don't use such a result and the, the estimate is completely effective. So usually it's very hard to, to get like the numbers there uh, effective. And yeah, Probably, as a final remark, one knows that the ABC conjecture, for example, they would imply conjecture one and conjecture two. And yeah, in the future, um, I try to find some further examples or try to find some criterion when one can prove these conjectures or uh, questions which are related to these conjectures. Okay, so thanks for your attention.